All right, I'm gonna try and make this video nice and short for y'all, but this is how we practice. Um, practice is normally a very interesting conversation because people be like, practice an hour a day, practice this, practice this. And it's like, practice is not that. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, nine times out of 10, uh, everything I've been told about practice is actually kind of wrong. Um, do not practice exercises. They like practice exercises, practice scales, practice. It's like, nah, bud. Um, pretty much, uh, if your goal is minimal amount of time, maximum amount of growth, which is like highly optimized, uh, practice, which is my goal. Um, that's what I've always chased. I'm like, how can I, cause I don't have a lot of time in the day. You know, I get up, you know, I'm a dad, husband, uh, I try to work as much as I can. I do all the admin stuff and I'm like, man, I have no time. So practice is like, how do I set up my practice uh, so that I get maximum results and get as far as I can. Now with practice, uh, you don't need to put in a lot of hours, uh, but you do need to do it right. So practice uh, definitely is a skill to hone and you want to work on the skill as much as possible. Now, I've got the five steps that I have in the school post, so I'll just read them out to you guys because I made sure I got my uh, key points nice and clear for y'all. So I got a script. Look at me go. He's improving. Um, step one, you now need to figure out what are you trying to get better at today? So you have set your goal of whatever you want to achieve, but today, where are you at and how can I get 1% better at what that is? Now you need to definitely walk in with a plan. If you do not come in with a plan, you are planning to fail. You need to be like, okay, I am going to jump in and I am going to absolutely slay and do this. Um, now, when it when you come in, one percent improvement is the goal. Like, just get better one percent at whatever it is need you need to do. Um, you don't need to be doing any like I need to be able to play the whole song by the end of the session. No, just one percent. Pick it nail that thing and you're good. So that goes on to step two, which is 15 minutes. I would say 15 minutes is a really, really good. It's enough time for you to jump in, assess what you need to do. And it give you enough time to really like build the brain connections towards growth and, and develop like a little bit of uh, progress. Um, you want to be zoned in as focused as you can phone on silent like no distractions jump in be like this next 15 minutes i am all in i am going if it is as dumb as like i mean i kid you not this is going to be my practice my guitar's not plugged in but this is my practice for um i need to be able to do as what's the line oh it's something like that for the little wing um, Steve Ray Vaughan, I know he jumps in and he does like this hammer on pick up, uh, hammer on pull off thing. I was like, I gotta, I gotta really like nail the, I gotta practice getting up that, that speed. I would just do that for like 10 minutes, nail it. And I'd be like, cool. I got a little bit better at that today. Let's move on. Um, move on with your day, especially if you guys have day jobs and you have your lives. Um, 15 minutes is all you need. You do that 15 minutes. Um, absolutely legendary. Now, at the end of that 15 minutes, if that is your limit of how much you can do, you move on to step three, which is record it. So you finish your practice, now record where you are at in that moment. Record a video of it, and then what you're gonna do is after you record a video of that, you are now going to look at that recording, watch the recording, and be like, all right, I see what's happening there. You can listen back to the uh, to the track that you're trying to copy, and be like, where where is the difference? You will build your ear by doing this, and then you will learn to self-assess where you need to grow. And then what you're gonna do is after you watch that and be like, all right, that's where I'm at. Tomorrow, this is what I wanna work on. Start thinking about your next practice session and the area that you wanna move towards after watching that. If you don't document it, you're basically just wasting your time. I'm telling you right now, if you can't sit down and record yourself after a practice session and then look at yourself playing for that like one minute and be like, mm, that's pretty, there's a long way to go. There's nothing wrong with the long way to go. That just means as long as you do not quit, you will get there. So that is the most important thing. Record the video 
And then step four is evaluate the video and plan what you're going to do the next day. It will make the next day even easier because when you go to step one, which is like, hey, what am I meant to get better at? Well, I already watched that video yesterday and I noted that I need to work on this thing. And then you do that thing. It's very simple to say, but guitar teachers never told me to do this. Um, I was at Berkeley. They didn't tell me to do this. They said, hey, do your scales. If scales is the thing you're practicing, record yourself playing the scale, go back and look at it, and then be like, oh, well, whatever, what is there to improve here? And it's like, if you can play the scale, well, there's not really much to improve. Like, you just need to play the scale. But that's what I mean. Like, find the area you want to improve on and then do it. And that's it. And that is the skill of the practice. Now, step five goes for our accelerated community um, and also for our online school community. If um, I don't know how active I'll be on there because I'm really hands-on with the accelerated team. But uh, post in the community, post the videos. Um, you have this extra piece of leverage that you can pull on this lever called community. Um, now, practice is painful. If you're wondering, when you do that 15 minutes, if it sucks and it is hard and you are not having a great time, understand you are now practicing. If it is not hard, if you do not feel uncomfortable, if you do not feel like, ooh, I'm not very good, ooh, this is tricky, ooh, this is challenging, then you aren't practicing. Just telling you, you're playing. There's a difference between practice and play. If you are playing, you are not worrying. You're just not having a good time. We all good. Whoa. And there's nothing problem with that. Enjoy yourself. Play the guitar. Have fun. Sing. Do whatever you do. Whatever you love doing. If you enjoy playing, play. Like, that's great. But when you go into the room and you say, I'm practicing, it's a different mindset. It needs to be hard. It needs to feel like pain. Pain creates growth. Now, the step five of community communicating with you, like posting a video in our communities means that you get this ninja advantage of numbing that pain because there's nothing bigger, nothing better. I know because when I'm playing and I'm like... I'm going to do this better. Or I'm going to challenge myself or I'm going to do like in my live stream when I'm performing, when I'm performing in my, my live stream, I tell you what, eight times out of 10, I am trying something new. Uh, whether it is trying to engage with the camera more, whether it is trying to focus more on my vocal, whether it is approaching my, the distance from my mic, doing something better on the guitar, landing on a chord. Like there's a lot of things in my head that I'm like, I need to do better here. I need to do better. I'm always pushing my limit every stream every time trying as hard as I can. Um, so I'm feeling that pain point, but that pain is numbed by people being like, keep it up, keep it up. It sounded great. Keep it up. It sounded great. You know, like, and that's what our community is there for. Our community is there is going to be like, you're not going to see the wins. You will not see the wins that you are doing, but our community will. Our community will watch you win and they will be there to be like, dude, you're winning or do that. You are winning. Keep it up. And, um, we are going to be there to support you and achieve your your goals. So um, that's all I have to say when it comes to practice. Smash it out. Have heaps of fun. Um, just remember, pain is good. Pain is the indicator that you are growing and you are learning. If it sucks, that is the real. That's the feel. Okay? If it's easy, then anyone can do it. If it is hard, then you're like, ah, yes, I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward because... Trust me, no one wants to do the hard thing, especially these days. No one wants to do the hard thing. Um, you definitely want to like push yourself. All right, that's enough for me. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I can't wait to see you guys continue killing it in the community. All right, stay safe.